Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a buffalo plaid pumpkin using the Dollar Tree uh, wooden cutouts. I'm also going to be using the apple barrel paint from Walmart in the color black, country gray, white, and I'll also be using barn red. I'm also going to be using the sponge applicators from the Dollar Tree along with some of my paint brushes, and yes, some of those are makeup brushes. I'm also going to be using one of the words from the uh, metal galvanized words uh, from the Dollar Tree. And here I also have a stencil that I ended up not using. You'll also need some painter's tape, a hot glue gun, and some jute twine also from the Dollar Tree. First I'm going to start by removing the jute twine hanger. Next, I'm going to be giving the pumpkin two coats of white paint. After the paint is dry, I am going to be taking the painter's tape and I start by placing one piece going vertically down the center of the pumpkin. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Remember, this is homemade and you'll see at the end of the video that mine is not perfect. Next to it, I'm also placing a smaller piece of tape and using this as a spacer. and then placing another piece of tape next to that. Then I will remove the spacer. Next, I will be taking the color Country Gray. And mixing it with a little bit of the white. This is just to get a lighter color gray. And just paint where you have taped off. Give this two coats of paint. Once the paint is dry, carefully remove the tape. Next, I place the tape horizontally starting in the middle and doing the same as I did when I applied the tape vertically.
Once the tape is in place, I'm taking some more of the country gray and I'm just painting between the tape. I decided that I wanted the gray to be a little bit darker, so I'm just adding a drop or two of the black paint and mixing them together to get a darker gray. I am also going to be giving this two coats of this darker gray color. Once the paint is dry, I'm going to be placing some more painter's tape. Uh, remember not to remove the tape that is already down. So I start by placing the painter's tape the same way as I did when I first started, going vertically down the center of the pumpkin. Next I'm taking the black paint and I will be giving this two coats. Once the paint is dry, carefully remove the tape. This is how it should look. As you can see, mine is not perfect. My lines are not completely straight. Next, I'm going to start wrapping the stem of the pumpkin with the jute twine. I'll be adding a little bit of the hot glue to the back of the pumpkin. And then I'll start wrapping this pumpkin stem with the jute twine. Once I get to the tip of the stem, I'm going to be placing a little bit of hot glue just to secure the jute twine, and then I'll continue to wrap the stem.
Once I get to where I want it to stop, I just put a little bit of hot glue to secure the jute twine on the back, and then I cut off the remainder. Next, I'm going to be using one of the words from the galvanized metal words that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And here I'm just trying to figure out which one I want to use. I decided to go with the word welcome. So I decided that I didn't like how shiny this was. And um, I'm just going to use some of the black paint and a cotton ball. And I'm dipping the cotton ball in the black paint and just dabbing it on. I just wanted it to look a little more rustic. Next, I'm just taking some of the barn red and a little bit of the black, and I'm mixing the two colors together, and it gave me sort of a rusty color. Next, I'm just going to take the word welcome and I'm going to hot glue it to the center of the pumpkin. Next, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to use to embellish the stem with. I have a flower left over from a bunch that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be making a bow from the burlap ribbon and also using some of the raffia. So this is a bow that I made and I did this off camera. If you would like to know how to make a bow, there are so many tutorials on YouTube that you can go and check out. The next thing I'm doing here is taking a bundle of the raffia and I am just trying to unfold it and get it all straight. Once I get it all straightened out, I'm just going to be hot gluing it to the base of the stem. Um, you can either tie this, uh, the raffia, into um, a knot where there's a knot in the center if it makes it easier for you to apply it. I didn't do that. I just went ahead and just gathered it all up and then put a big old glop of hot glue. And it works just fine. Next, I'm going to be adding the bow, and I am just hot gluing the bow to the center of the raffia. And uh, with the bow, I secured it with a um, pipe cleaner. So I'm just going to be flipping over the pumpkin and um, tying my the pipe cleaner onto the back. And with the leftover pipe cleaner, I am just making a loop so that I can have something to hang it if I choose to. Next, I'm just trimming the raffia up because it was a little bit too long.
Here I'm just fluffing the bow out a little bit. And next I'm going to be adding the little burlap sunflower uh, to the center of the bow. And this is the final product, guys. I think it turned out really cute. Even though my lines are not straight, I still think it brings it a little bit of character. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. And if you want to know when I upload a video, just click the little bell icon to be notified. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye!